Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to use arrays in Java. Arrays are objects that can hold multiple values of a specific data type. Now I'll go ahead and get started and show you how to do this. Okay, we'll go ahead and make a new Java project. Call it arrays. And within that, we'll create a new class. And we'll call it arrays as well. OK. We'll make our main method here. Now, arrays are uh, pretty much a pretty simple way of um, making a whole bunch of different variables of the same type, so you don't have to declare a whole bunch of ints or a whole bunch of chars, and uh, I'll demonstrate this for you real quick. Okay, this is how an array reference is created, is whenever you put these little brackets here right after the data type. Now, if we want, if we want our array variable or object to hold, say, seven ints, we would do this. And now, our um, our reference variable right here will hold seven different um, values if we wanted it to. Now all you have to do to do that is go ahead and call the variable and specify the index that you want to hold the variable and put in whatever number you want. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate how this is useful for you. So now you see here we can put, put in different numbers for each of these. And we don't have to declare ints, new int variables, every time. See? Each of these is a completely different number. And whereas before, you would have had to say, do int test 1 equals 45, or int test 2 equals 49 and you would have had to make a whole bunch of different ones. Now, granted, you might not need to do this, but it's, uh, it's there and it's helpful for those of you who want to use it. Um, and I can demonstrate how it prints out. Just put the name of the array reference variable, which is test, and then specify the index. And I'll specify 4 here, which I have assigned 89 to. And we'll go ahead and run our Java program. And we have 89 displaying in the console right here. So you see how you can benefit from that a little bit and you don't even have to use um, integers if you don't want to you can use all kinds of different uh, data types um, I'll show you here 
I'm just going to copy these. So now I have a string array that holds seven different strings in each of these um, in each of these indexes. Oh, and I probably should have explained earlier. Um, you'll notice that I start at zero for the indexes rather than starting at one. Well, you go from zero and then up to one, up to um, your length minus one, which is six. So if I made one, if I made an array that was say ten in length, I would go from zero to nine for the maximum, and that's pretty much just how arrays work. And uh, so I could change this here to say. I'll make a whole bunch of these little prints. Just to kind of show you how this works. So I'm going to print each of these indexes here, each of these uh, variable array indexes, and uh, you'll see how that works real quick. I'll go, I'll go ahead and run it. And now you'll see in the console, you see, I like Java. It's cool, man, really. Yeah, kind of a dumb little statement there I just made. But hey, just demonstrating how this works. And uh, you can see how it's applicable. You don't have to make a million different um, strings or ints or you can do this with anything else too. Um, I'll also demonstrate for you real quick 